Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to scan to a computer on this all-in-one printer right here. This is an Epson ET-2760 all-in-one wireless printer and this will be an easy tutorial. So if you want to scan to a computer on this printer right here, once again the Epson ET-2760 all-in-one wireless printer, this is the video for you. Let's get right into the video. All that you need is your computer, uh, which I don't have over here. Sorry, I was pointing to the printer, but you need your computer open with the Epson printer driver installed on it, okay? You need to have it open and turned on in order for this to work. It needs to be connected to the wireless network, the same wireless network as the printer, okay? You also need the printer to be connected to the wireless network uh, to sort of be connected to the computer because the computer has a driver, and then you need a page to scan. So what you're gonna do is take your page that you wanna scan, okay? Place it face down inside of the document bed over here. So I'm gonna place it face down just like that. Okay, make sure it's nicely lined up the way that it needs to be lined up, okay? Then on your menu, you're gonna go and you're gonna find the scan option. So you can see right here, we're gonna find scan, there's scan, you're gonna hit okay. And then it gives you a few options. To memory means if you have an SD card installed, that's gonna be the physical memory that it's gonna be scanning to. But we wanna scan to a computer, okay? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go next, and we have a few options. To computer in the form of a JPEG, to computer in the form of a PDF, to computer in the form of an email, to computer in the form of a WSD. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna just choose to keep it simple, to computer in the form of a JPEG. Okay, so when you choose your option that you want it, that you want to use, you're gonna hit OK. Okay, now what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up a list of all of the computers that are open and connected to the Wi-Fi network, and you can scroll through them. So you can scroll through them and find the one that you're looking for. Or if there's multiple computers, like if you have a whole office full of people connected to the same Wi-Fi network and using the same printer, then you can just choose last used, okay? Last used, or USB connection, if there's a computer that is wired up to the printer. So I should have mentioned that you can also wire it up, and if your computer is wired to the printer, then you can use that option. But since I don't have any computers turned on right now, none are showing up, because I don't want to display any computer info of, of any of the computers that I own, but you will see a computer here. You're gonna go ahead and scroll to the specific one that you want, or last used, or USB connection. When you're ready to scan, you can see that symbol right there is this one right over here. So you're gonna hit this right here, you're gonna hit that. And as you can see, it's telling me communication error, check the connection, because obviously, there's no computer connected. But if your computer's connected, it's going to go ahead and it's gonna scan it, and it's gonna send it to your computer, and then it will allow, it will pop up on your computer, and you can then use that file on your computer, okay? It's that simple. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.